I wanted to end the um, thread I've got on the FFT that I've been developing with a quick video of um, how I'm going to leave it in a semi-finished state. So I'll just show you what I've got on the bench over here. This is a 100 megahertz 8-bit A to D and a VGA P mod, double P mod from Digilent and an 8K Lattice Ice H40 uh, development board from Lattice and I've got a VGA monitor showing the output of the FFT and a signal generator up here. So at the moment it's set on sine wave and if I increase the frequency you can see the bins joining in the in the middle where we run out of frequency and that's at 150 kilohertz. The FFT is being clocked at 300 kilohertz. And then if I um, switch over to square wave you can see all the square components. There you go, that one is quite good. Like that. And as I dial up the frequency again, you can see how the the bins get reflected in the in the center line. It was a lot more complicated than I thought it was gonna be um, and took a lot longer. And it's not running quite as fast as I wanted it to. I was thinking maybe I could get it running up to 50 or 100 megahertz, the speed of the 8-bit parallel A to D. But in the end, that needed about 20 or 30,000 um, logic slices, and I've only got 8,000 on the H40 board. So instead, I had to serialize the process, and that then slowed everything down. And then synchronizing it with the VGA also um, increase the timing requirements so I can't run it that fast.